Okay, now we know the system works and you've had to read all those lovely jokes, uh, I've removed that message box section, so we've got a blank field within here now. Uh, I'm going to add uh, a few more variables. I'm going to add three more variables. And they are. They're working up. I have count rows. That's going to count the number of rows that we're using. And I have count fields. That's going to count the number of fields. Actually, I'm going to put this the other way around. I'll do X, then Y. Okay, uh, and now I have this thing called joke array. So joke array is going to be a two-dimensional array, so like a spreadsheet, for example. Um, it's going to have three columns. Remember, arrays start with zero, then one, then two. So there's three columns here. The zero column is going to be the joke number. Column one is going to be the joke itself, and column two will be the answer. Uh, and a hundred jokes. Whereas remember line zero is just the titles. So uh, this is my joke array I've set up. That's a string so it's going to store text. These are integers, I hold numbers because they're going to count for us. Now I need to place into here a couple of little bits. Right. Uh, the try section, while not the end of data, that is going to start working through each row first. So the rows are done first. Now, so before I get to that, I want to reset my row. Now, I'm going to do this quickly. Because there's only one variable I'm declaring here, I can go equals zero at that point. In fact, I could do that. I don't think I'll use it, but it's there. But here, I'm now declaring that as zero. So it's resetting my row number. Okay. Within my row number, but before I get to the end of my system. So I'm going to put that now. I just need to make this absolutely certain. I'm going to put this before my catch ends. I'm going to make my rows go up by one. So it's going to do whatever it needs to do. Then it's going to make the row go up by one. And then it's going to go back and repeat this loop for the next row. Now these rows, I'm not counting for the purpose of me reading it from the file. I'm counting so I know where to put it on the array. And that's the key thing. So I'm now going to put in there count ro uh, rows uh, plus equals one. There we go. Remember that's the same as saying count row is equal, it will become equal to itself plus one. Now, uh, within the for loop, at the end of the for loop, remember this for loop is doing the fields or columns. So here I've got count fields. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Plus equals one. So they're both going to increase by one each time it goes round. Okay. Um, to actually test that now, a slightly more boring test, but message box. And in this message box, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to start by saying rows, space, and percent, count rows. Ampersand, oops, thirds, sorry that was a typo, uh, ampersand, did you know that ampersand was once the last letter of the alphabet officially? Okay. Okay, so what's going to happen is it's now going to show me just to test that it's counting through. I'm going to save that, test that quickly. And I want to hit the go button. Zero, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now I can see what's happened there is that those fields have kept going up and up and up. So something has gone wrong. So I've run through the whole thing. Uh, what's gone wrong is remember up here, I reset my rows. 
What I haven't done is I haven't reset my fields. Now, that should happen within this loop here. So I need to go count fields is equal to zero. Now what that means is every time it starts a new row, it will reset my field down to zero. I save, I test that, and now if we take a look at that, and you can see it's going zero, one, two, and then it will reset to zero again. One, two, as the rows keep increasing. I'm going to stop that there. And uh, I'm happy with that. Right, I'd like you to do the same of where you go.